Start on easy mode because speedrunners are bad at video games. Not like it matters though, you kill like two enemies in this whole speedrun. <laughs> I start with the last game, in case you didn't notice or are wondering, just because this is the hardest and I find at least the most reset heavy on the first split. I'd rather do this one first. And then I do SOT, which is the first game, and then Warrior Within. The prince made his way along the torn and blasted district, haunted by visions from his past. The dark side tavern where he spent many late nights was now reduced to cinders. Babylon's I need a second to like get used to this gameplay because it feels so weird after playing Forgotten Sands. Everywhere there are signs of battle. What of Babylon's god? Where have they all gone? What do you mean, jumpy? That was a little skip there, called fish cutter skip. Skip's getting the first dagger that you're supposed to get to fight with. Even if it didn't save any time, I would honestly still do it because Doing this section without the dagger is so much better. This siege tower and enter from above. I can sense the others who have passed through this place, intent on bringing harm to my family. For four weeks I've been at sea, and every day spent dreaming of my return to Babylon. But never, in all my visions of the future, did I suspect a homecoming such as this. War. It is the only answer. But war with who? And why? You should know that it was not love that drove him, but duty. I was his responsibility. He had made a promise, a promise that was now broken and undone. As with all mistakes he had made, the prince meant to fix this. A noble goal. The split is pretty boring, FYI. It doesn't get much more exciting than what I'm doing right now. <laughs> we can't rewind time yet, so. I know these streets. Gotta. Get to the dagger as quickly as possible. Keep pace with Kylina if I'm to find the one responsible for this. And then the speed run is actually quick. Camera, don't kill me, please.
<laughs> nice. Hit by the fire because I tried to wall run up there too early. Stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers, or the errant children making trouble as all young ones do. Gone. This jump coming up is really dumb. Saves like nine seconds though. But I usually reset if I miss it. Alright, we're fine. Kill myself here because I need to get the dagger that we skipped. Home. And yet nothing is as I remember. Objects once familiar. And also we want to do side rolls here. It's nice and quick. Provided the archers don't shoot me. Ah, oh, I messed up the side rolls, that was completely my fault. For once it wasn't the archers, please jump up to there, thank you. Yeah, not every checkpoint will give you it. There's one other that you could die to get it earlier on, but it's faster to do it there because the checkpoint puts you a little further ahead with your movement. Oh wow, you've got to be joking. I don't think I've ever done that before. Yeah, me too. I missed the FFZ host button. So much effort to type in a whole name. Bullshit. <laughs> it must have been auto host or something. I should be resting now, recovering from my time away. <laughs> Sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide, sneaking about. <laughs> this is still a pretty good dagger time, despite the really dumb mistakes. Probably, probably can't be sub nine minutes anymore. But getting up to that platform at seven minutes is pretty good. Just do little jumps here to time my movement to make sure I don't start walking towards the trap too early. Yeah, I think in order for it to be sub 9, you need to pull that lever like below 8 minutes. Sub 9 dagger e equals sub 8 lever. Pay attention to what the prince overheard as he drew close to where I was being kept. Many years ago. I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time. I sometimes kill this guy for safety, but I'm not going to. Because the other part of this dagger was horrible, so... Gotta go fast. They can kill me here though, yeah. Don't kill me! Really? Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon right. <laughs> intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. 
Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. But you were gone. They <laughs> <laughs> Father, forgive what I have done, wherever you are. Alright, so now we can rewind time, so let's go fast. The palace is falling! Run for your lives! That's not very fast. Can I rewind trick this? Not like that. <laughs> uh, I can probably still continue with that. I do have like a lot of time save on the dagger, so let's keep going. Father, forgive what I have done. Wherever you are. That's probably like a full minute time loss though. That happened because I didn't rewind long enough, so I didn't have enough throw weapon time. That should work. Alright, that's fine. I'll get the weapon back. This is why I like playing this game first, another reason at least. Dude, I keep doing that. Does the zips in this game start off with a bang? All right, done sewer skip. been skipping doing this zip for a while now because it's super punishing if you miss it but I decided to start going for it. I'm gonna be more careful with the lineup though. That should be good. That's also the reason why I got an extra sand. I only need one but I get two in case I mess up the alignment. Oh wow I landed on fucking Collision. That's great. Am I gonna lose the sword? I still have it for some reason. Cool. Let's try that again. Still don't understand what makes you lose the sword or not. Sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. There. That's the zip. That might miss the load. No, it didn't. I guess I can explain zipping if no one's seen it before. But yeah, the um, 
The game's rewind system can't handle more than 25 inputs, I think it is. So if you just spam a bunch of inputs, like blocking or little tiny steps, then you can overload it. And for whatever reason, when you overload it, this is what happens. <laughs> The reaction just gets exaggerated by a lot. We usually like to say like 10 times, but it's not always 10 times. Like a roll goes way farther than 10 rolls. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> it is really silly. You can see it really easily on this zip in combination with drop glitching. So I throw my weapon, bam, a bunch of blocks, and walking with the scroll mouse wheel and then we get pushed back and we also drop glitch down without taking fall damage what's happening yeah what it's doing is like it's exaggerating my inputs so if i do two block rolls it'll zip me without collision much further than the block rolls initially went, so I get like pushed across the map. Then I jump super high in the air. We have to resort to a more traditional form of transport. Hopefully, with greater success. All like the zips are specifically routed to go certain distances, so you don't die when you stop them. And also to hit load triggers along the way, like that one that I just missed. Because I don't know why the slow trigger is really dumb. This area should disappear when I hit it. There we go. You can also see the game lag a little bit on that one specifically. I probably lost over a minute there. I think this chariot ride is like a minute and a half, so yeah. Still ahead though. So once more the prince began the journey home. His mind a fire with visions of the justice he would visit upon the vizier. He will tear our chariot apart! Not if we tear his apart first. This is like essentially an auto scroller. You can't zip during this because, first of all, there's no way to do inputs. Like, I can't scroll block or anything, so I wouldn't be able to overload the rewind system. And even if you could, you don't actually zip anywhere when you overload it because you're on this chariot. So the game kind of just like puts you back here. Still like almost a minute ahead. We made it. Hold your horses. Come on. I think I'll go for the faster zip here since the start wasn't that great. If I'm on good pace here, I probably wouldn't do it. The streets of Babylon now stood all but deserted. Its inhabitants either dead or fled. Those left behind suffered terribly. Captured, tortured, and transformed. But the prince did not notice this. So focused was he on the vizier. This is the zip I was talking about. This one's actually like pretty hard. Uh, especially if you do that. I mean, just rewind that. I don't need to get the aim again. Uh, that might miss the load. 
Yeah, I missed the load, damn it. That's why this zip sucks, it's so easy to miss one of the things that you need. Alright, that should work. I need to do a jump slash that's delayed so I get to the right height. There we go. Need to be careful about this release timing because I just jumped a little bit a bit early. You can still die from fall damage when I do jump zips. You need to time the release properly so you don't die from them. This is a dark print section that we're going to do as the normal prints. No worries. Totally intended. That jump is not intended by me. <laughs> Babylon's defenders still live. The city is not yet taken. Perhaps father is among them. That's another zip where you can like easily see what's going on. Pretty nice. You just do a roll, zip it, and he just flies across the map. Fucking great. <laughs> This is the first boss of the game, Klumpa, which we won't even get to see because I'm going to keep him from loading into the map. Right now the, the boss arena loads when you walk in here, but it doesn't load the boss yet. So we're going to just zip into here while hitting some load triggers along the way. Hopefully, unless I fuck it up. down here. Surprised that didn't hit the dark print section actually. It was pretty close. Okay, so now we're in the boss arena, but the boss isn't loaded. So we're free to zip again. With a really annoying, annoyingly precise aim. Here we go. Don't jump again. Alright, we're on our way. Those first, like, 20 minutes is honestly the hardest part of this whole run. Not a very good aim. That should fix it with a couple keyboard inputs.
With the Dahaka defeated, the prince was slowly regaining pieces of his former self. The pressure and desperation which once drove him gone. Uh, if you're talking about, like, without zipping, you just need to throw your weapon at the same time as you fall off a ledge. It's really easy to do if you just hang off the ledge and get back up. Then you can, like, just press forward and throw weapon immediately and you should get a draw glitch. And to zip it, it's the same type of thing. You just... You just need to hold the throw button after you're done the zip so he doesn't throw it away. And then he'll fall down without taking fall damage. Yeah, that's why I throw the weapon. Anytime we need to go down enough distance that it would kill us, then we, uh... Well, that didn't work, really. I don't think my angle is deep enough. The other way not to die from fall damage is doing multiple jumps. I do that on other zips. Alright, that worked. I missed the load, though. You'll see that later on some zips that I do. This is an example, actually. I do two jumps, which you would think is enough height to kill me. But the last jump that you do is the one that calculates where you were in relation to if you're gonna die from fall damage. So as long as you time the first jump that you input, the last jump that you zip, because it comes out in the re reverse order, you won't die from fall damage. Rewind extend. You literally just slash your sword and rewind, and you can extend it because Ubisoft. Uh, am I gonna die? No. You need to hold rewind a long time there because the load trigger is really high up in the air. But if I hold it too long, then I die, so yeah. Another thing about dying from fall damage is there's certain zips like this one where the height that you need is actually equal to the zipped height you get. That's why I don't need to like jump before those inputs because I can just zip the full jump and it gets me to the correct height. If he failed, his entire world could be lost. Or the vizier was not content to simply be a king. The zip is fantastic. I always say how good it is every time I do it. But it's just like so many inputs. Just like a complicated zip to save eight seconds. But it's super free. I like that zip too, because it zips like actually bonking on the wall. 
Like the block row would normally go in the wrong direction, but since the wall kind of pushes you over, it also zips that and it puts you in the right spot. Ah, shit. That's my bad. I should have the load trigger hit so I can just zip through this. The reason I jumped there is to hit a load trigger. But since that jump should hit it, I don't need to jump again. Hopefully. Unless it gets unloaded, which is possible. Alright, it's loaded. Necessary. Yes. You're sure? Yes. Fine. Waste your valuable time rescuing. Fine. Waste your valuable time rescuing the princess. I think this zip is one of the first zips that use the double jump mechanic. Torturing innocent citizens. Or like I do another jump here to hit a load trigger. Which would normally kill you, but since I did a jump at the start. That jump, as long as you time it right, will save you from fall damage. Me. Traipsing through a brothel while your city falls apart. That's not what I call heroic. I am here for Farah. You're not here for her. You're here for you. She made you feel guilty and you hope to This is the second boss, by the way. Prove her wrong. Uh what? I missed the load? I honestly don't even know what load trigger that is that I missed. It's the door, right? It must be the door. That's really weird. How did I even miss that? Wonderful work. You return to save Farah. Yeah, there we go. While you run after this one. It literally hasn't happened since I first started running this game. When I used to do like the roll from a bit further back. But doing it from there is much better. You did lie to her. No, I simply... Yes. But she would not understand. Yes. But she would not understand. Was I thinking? Well, you did lie to her. No. All that jumping is just a setup for this zip. Because you need your angle to be like... Extremely straight. Otherwise you'll miss the load. His secret self had been revealed, and fed. Sometimes you can still miss it, but usually it works. His secret self had been revealed, and Farah quite disturbed by what she had seen. Perhaps he should have been. I kind of had a better setup for this, but I don't think it even saves any time. Like, I just found a way to do the zip from like further back, but it wouldn't really save any time. I'll just do it from up here like normal. Oh nice, I landed on top of the door. Cool. I think we should like zip that area, which you totally could, but nothing that I've found at least is faster, so I just do it normally. Hope this zip fucking works, because it's giving me a lot of trouble lately. Yeah, it worked. I think it's just the slash height that makes it not work. 
seems to be pretty specific compared to the others. The trigger might not be as high. Perfect. That route through this area is still fairly new, so I'm not as used to it. I'm happy that went well. This whole area can save time on world record because I didn't do that newer route and also the golem took forever to kill because he was doing his stupid thing where you kill him but then you don't get the speed kill so you have to kill him again. Oh no. Alright. I want to hit the side on purpose there because the golem slows down if you don't. That split was a little late, but whatever. that almost landed out of bounds or it also could have bonked me right into the dark prince section which would really suck <laughs> you take any dark prince sections it's really bad because not only do you lose your cloth costume which is the best you lose the sword which means I would have to get another Because it regenerates your sand, if you don't know. That's why I never have to pick up any. Ah, uh, that wall run was bad. I want to do a small wall run. That could actually put me too far back and I'll miss this platform. hurry and find a way inside have fun with that you can figure it out on your own for once i will play no part in this nice wall running on the wrong thing Now we're at the second chariot, which is just as boring as the first. I really should find a lineup where I don't need to keep rewinding continuously here. There we go. You can zip that and get immediately teleported to the to the chariot. But I usually end up Floating like that and having to rewind until he moves to the right. And then beat up these horses. Doesn't make you go any faster, they just allow you to whip them. Kind of mean, actually. Yeah. 
<laughs> it stops the animation if you turn. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, stop fooling around because you're getting yourself killed. That's the only reason you should ever die during the chariot if you're not paying attention. When I get a webcam, I want to like try doing this, this chariot section while solving a Ruby's cube in my other hand. I think that would be fun to do. <laughs> All right, I will admit, I was not expecting that. <laughs> This is the third boss. You actually get to see this boss. That's pretty much it. We're immediately gonna zip away. Oh yeah, I thought that was gonna land me out of bounds. Pretty glad it didn't. My angle was bad. I ended up really far away from the door. Dude, I always jump there. You don't need to jump, just do a block roll. That's a cool zip, if I don't say so myself, because I did find it. Whoa, okay. I'm really glad that the zip I just did disables this cutscene, because if it didn't, that totally would have triggered it. Did I miss the load? It did. Son of a bitch. This zip sometimes doesn't work, and I don't know why. I'm wondering if it could just be like random differences with the bonking on the wall. That one works. Ooh, that was almost out of bounds. Alright, we're making good time. This is actually a really good time. This could be a uh, 56. Making sure I'm facing straight here, because if I'm not, I'll probably miss the fade out teleport thing. Ah, oh, and I missed it. <laughs> I don't know why I missed it either. 
this works like every time except a scattered time it just doesn't hit it and there it is Yeah, that part just, like, teleports us down here. You could actually get to this area, well, like, theoretically, I guess. Like, it is loaded. You can zip here without the teleport. But the problem is it's so far down that not even a drop glitch can save you from the fall damage. So you would need to, like, do some rewind tricks, which is not fun, so thank goodness for that teleport trigger. Not sure why the dialogue didn't start. There's supposed to be dialogue here. And there's supposed to be a death plane there. Seems like if I fail to teleport the first time, TikTok, Prince. the triggers get fucked up down here. But there's no dialogue for the uh, death plane that's usually there. These are some nice, really quick drop glitches. You don't need to fall down very far at all. You need a little tiny bit, and then you can let go. Although I'd rather let go a little bit later so I don't land in a stagger like that. But fine. Welcome to the darkness, where you can't see shit, like the name suggests. Supposed to get a sword, the prince's dad's sword, but that's slow, so we don't get it. <laughs> Gonna do the easy version of this zip. Because this is already a good time. I don't need to save more time. We'll just get to the end. And so the prince's eyes had finally been opened to the true nature. There's a better way to do that where I don't need to death abuse here. Because I need to die here to load a trigger that I skipped. But again, it's fine. And so the prince's eyes That's had finally fine. been opened to the true nature of his corrupt half, that cruel and charismatic voice which once whispered in his ear. It had subtly encouraged our burdened hero to do wrong. But now, the voice was still. The prince's mind once more his own. Death abuse here, again, not to load triggers that I skipped actually, but it for some reason loads triggers that I haven't hit yet. You do that on the Garden Death the Garden Death split as well. That loads triggers that you didn't get to yet. You can zip further ahead. It's pretty cool that the first run got past the first game with a good time as well. Assuming I don't do anything dumb to mess it up here.
That hit the load, right? Yeah. My hands are fucking cold. Yeah, got the best version of that zip. That was kind of a bad aim, but hopefully it's alright. Ah, it wasn't alright, shit. <laughs> You know what, I should just die, because there should be a checkpoint here. Funny that I fell to bounds, how did that even happen? There better be a checkpoint here, okay good. <laughs> hey, there was before, better be now. There we are. A zip is not hard, but it's it's annoying to aim because of the weird curvature of the room. And the game can also crash if you zip past the vases there, so it can be a little scary. I was actually thinking of grinding two thrones again. Oh fuck. I knew that was gonna happen too. Am I dead? No. But I just decided to do more of these because this kind of is grinding for world record on this since I'm playing it first. I really want to get sub two hours in this. Not like it matters much, but I just want like a good trilogy run. Not like a perfect one, just a good one. Which is essentially sub two hours, and then I'm done. I almost failed that. Camera, please work with me here. Okay, whatever. I don't want to spend more time winding that up. Just try that aim. It's probably going to miss, though. Yeah. <laughs> what is going on in the chat? <laughs> I lost a minute there? How did I lose a minute? Slew the vizier, I would simply disappear. Oh, but you are so blind. Your rage, your that seems like too much. Ways. They gave me I failed the substance. teleport trigger. Even with the sands gone, I have the strength to remain. And That's like the only big gone. thing. I, I guess I did do the slower the darkness too. But I wouldn't think that's a full minute. Whatever. Manipulate time itself. You have the chance to be the greatest king the world has ever known. What wars you could have fought. What monuments you could have erected in your honor. What women. But 
You failed me, Prince. You grew soft and sympathetic. My attempts to convince you to seek glory fell on deaf ears. So I bided my time, waiting for the proper moment to strike. You do not deserve what you have been given. Control of the world's greatest empire. With the power at your command, you could rule the world. Not you sure why I didn't wonders. jump right away there. I don't need to wait. <laughs> and so it should be mine. You are just a parasite. You deserve nothing. But don't I? Have I not earned it? Do you think you would be here now if not for me? How many times did I save you? How many times did I unblock your path, take down your enemies, remind you of your mission, while all you did was cry about your father, and Kalina, and Farah, how everything bad always happens to you? Boo-hoo, Prince! Your words are empty, have always been empty. It makes you sick? What do you mean? <laughs> or do you mean it's a good movement? Confused because you said like me movement. I did not spin myself out of the ether. I was not conjured by some mad vizier. I am you. No. I have seen the error of my ways. And I have atoned for the transgressions of my past. <laughs> I am no longer that person. Seasons change. Tastes change. But people? People never change. And you delude yourself. Oh, I see. Life. Yeah. That's what I find about, uh... Down your sword. Um, Forgotten Sands, the last area in that game, actually makes me dizzy sometimes. <laughs> I never found it with this area, but I could see how it could be a thing. There's actually time save on this split. Kind of sad. What? Such violence! Your anger serves only to feed me. So I have to ask. Have you really changed? After all, I am still right here, standing before you. No! What are you doing? Alright. Just quit this right away. Second game hype. I usually don't even make it to this game, so... It's actually really good. Uh, let's check controller. Why does it lag sometimes on that initial screen? Alright, controller is good. Let's go. Yeah, that was a good time for Two Thrones. Oh, that was really late. <laughs> it's fine. I'll have to retime that though. I wasn't paying attention, I started that split way too late. Or at least humility at the speed of which a world can be transformed from a good world into a hell. I was expecting it to be like a 56 though, but I lost a minute on that last split. I guess I did mess up that other zip at the end as well, so yeah, I guess that makes sense. I should honestly practice that, because losing time on that split shouldn't happen. Oh no. Okay, I thought I was gonna die. Many men that day saw you win honor and glory from that, but their king might say. So this is the first game in the trilogy. We just completed the third. And this one is just as broken, if not more. I knew this would not be I would win my father's praise. And the dagger split is shorter, so that's nice.
Shall I continue my story from here the next time we're interrupted? And there it lay, just out of reach. The Dagger of Time. There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. The dagger early doesn't lead my time. Sort of can. Ah. Alright. That's completely fine. I don't think this time loss is as severe as it looks because the setup time is longer because I checked the controller. But either way, we're still like 30 seconds ahead, so that's good. I really see her, or had my senses given way under the burden of this is it probably isn't saving time anymore because I did that jump by mistake get this boat get this checkpoint in case this zip is dumb the zip was dumb. Can I like rewind trick that? Ah, I think I did get a rewind trick, but I was still too far down. That's a bummer. There's no like actual RNG with this zip, but the fact that you're doing so many side rolls, you just can't get a specific position every time. Even if you aim, even if you aim in the same spot. Like that time it was fine and it felt the exact same. I keep pressing the wrong button to drop off ledges because of forgotten sands. Stupid forgotten sands making me lose time my trilogy run. God damn. <laughs> yeah, this is like a really bad start. Fucking seven and a half minutes. Oops. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough inputs. 
Wow, that was really close. Yeah, thanks, Samabam. Nice reset camera. That's not the direction that I'm facing, game. You want to recalculate that? <laughs> Shoutouts to neutral block jumping. Oh, that thing where you like turn around or something <laughs> and get the the blocked input. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I did that way. <laughs> Nobody saw that, alright? Gotta end it here so I don't die. Oh, I still died. Yeah. <laughs> alright, let's try that again. I was thinking of doing like another jump to like stop me from dying from fall damage, but then I was like, wait a minute, I still need to time the next jump, so it just, I don't know what I was thinking with that. Really? Okay. Yeah, just, <laughs> just pretend it didn't happen. Shoutouts to no crashing on that zip. Yeah, that's the that's the bad part about not crashing, you don't get to play the music.
Oh nice, I didn't get the stagger. That's actually like so rare. Oh no. No! Uh... Fuck. Wait. That's so dumb. Where am I now? Back here. This run's probably dead. That's what happens when you understep your inputs by one input. So dumb. Actually, I guess that's not too bad. Like, it's a time loss, obviously, but I think it's still salvageable. Got the stagger that time. <laughs> so I usually do, like, extra inputs here. Just doing inputs on this corner is kind of awkward. Ah, oh, nice. Perfect release timing, bro. Perfect. Frame perfect. <laughs> I still have to die manually. <laughs> no, no, no. Farah, don't do this. Why, Farah? Why? Stupid bitch. That's not helping. There she is. Fuck you, Farah. Honestly. Yep, Farah being Farah. It's so rare that she doesn't follow there too. Of course it happens in a trilogy run where I can't just reset. She better follow here or I'm done. Good. <laughs> Shoutouts to Catalyst that's doing the harder, slower version of the zip still. For shame. Wait so long with that zip because, like, animation canceling makes me not make it half the time. It's so stupid.
Losing so much time on this split. Damn. <laughs> the Prince of Persia fights. Get a good PB in my game. No, get a good PB in my game. That didn't happen. Oh, I almost went out of bounds there. Join the zippers. Screw zipless. Ah, uh, hello? I was just holding the direction there, assuming he was actually moving. But he totally wasn't. What's NMG? Oh, you mean casual percent? I got it. Shoutouts to this jump dagger zip that saves like less than a second. Best thing ever. Uh, I'm gonna do this to make sure I hit that load. Ah, uh, we're gonna lose it in a second actually. Right in the save. Done. Gold. Oh, 
Invisible Prince is pretty hype. Love it. That might be the wrong name. The name isn't that precise, though. Ah, I missed it. <laughs> um, what does that mean? That means I need to watch this cutscene. Fantastic. I can't zip past it because... Why am I rolling? I guess there's water. I can't zip past it because I only have one sand. Normally I would hit the previous trigger during the zip. And this cutscene wouldn't be here. Funny how I was talking about how that aim isn't that precise and then I miss it. I'm not sure if this is a meme or if actually something you did. <laughs> the mathematician thing. Oh yeah, it sounds like you're serious. That's cool. This is another zip that can crash, but it really shouldn't. Yeah, we're fine. If I zip the awkward though, usually it does crash. I have no idea why, but that's why I wait so long. I did that in that order, but I, don't work. <laughs> I mean, it could still be a meme. Maybe it's just such an elaborate meme, you're not telling me it's a meme. Cool though that he responded. Really, I didn't die. That's not helpful. Shoutouts to having too much Wait, health. Let's see where this corridor goes. Wonder if I could do drink skip later without doing fight skip. I just won't drink. <laughs> Aw, that missed apparently. I don't know why. That height felt perfect. All right, you can take the crack. That didn't happen. Look, a crack. Wait, let's see where this corridor goes. Times where it hits like the first trigger but then misses the rest, I don't understand at all. Like, how do I even get a height that does that? 
Like that time was fine and it's actually gonna miss this load. Gotta backtrack for it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dialogue makes no sense half the time because you're not where the game thinks you are. Movement. New camera. No, no, no. A torture chamber. It was the first time I had seen such devices at close range. Close Please work first try. Yay. Grabbed it really late. Like he fell down a bit, but it still worked. <laughs> what? Okay. Don't bully Nightbot. <laughs> He's a robot, but he has feelings. And also, it's a he for some reason. My bad, okay. Ah, oh, stand up for a bit. Oh. A tomb. You were there. The dagger was in your hand. Why did you hesitate? You think you're cleverer than everybody, but you're just like the rest of them. Those soldiers, all they can do is fight, destroy. Why did I trust you? Why didn't you trust me? <laughs> oh. Sorry. Where are you? 
I'm right here. Hold my hand. Don't let go. I didn't mean what I said. No. You're right. All that's happening. This can apparently still be sub two hours in game time, that is. I brought this on us. It's gonna be really tight though. You are brave and good. If this tomb is to be ours, at least the dagger will be buried with us. And we are together. Bam. If only I had ice cream, it would make Sam and Bam stay. Rip. What is it? Nothing. Wait, is there an ice cream emote? Like That's good enough, right? <laughs> there must be yeah, see you, man. When I was small, is there an ice cream emote? There totally should be. I don't think there is. You said that when I was afraid, There's Doritos, though. Speak that word, and a magic door would open. <laughs> I've never told that to anybody. I can see why. It's the most childish thing I've ever heard of. What was the word? Kakolukia. Kakolukia. <laughs> you did that. Didn't you? Tara? These stairs are too long. Oop, do you be soft? <laughs> but they're not infinite. These wall around the other direction. Can't be. That should be fine. Usually I like to wall around on the other wall. In a better spot. Still work, although it'll probably miss the second trigger. But you don't need to zip that one, so it's all good. Yeah, I missed the second one.
early release timing. Only purpose is to scare the shit out of me and think I didn't release, didn't hold it long enough. <laughs> well, it actually is a bit faster, but not worth it. Got early death, actually. Cool. Wait. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Always have to count that out loud because reasons. <laughs> yeah, should be called the finite stairs. Although, that would just be a name for any staircase literally in the entire world. Except for those trick obstacle illusion staircases that seem like they go on forever, but they don't actually. Please no death during this because there's so much time save. I'm just gonna take it safe. That being said, I'll probably still die. Alright, good start, good start. Please come closer. risky that's not playing it safe. <laughs> Hello? Oh my god, can you stop teleporting in front of me so I can't hit you? Nice auto aim. This game. Uh, don't fall in the hole. I'm aware of that. <laughs> Alright, Sansa Time, GG, last game, hype. I usually don't make it to the last game, so that's really cool. Wait, I need the Warrior Within Killer. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
fight's not really hard, but it's just dumb because the game's combat is not very good. At least that's how I see it. Ah, damn it. Hoping to get that most important part of the run right there. Rip sub two, because no side rolls. Don't tell me sub two isn't possible. Nineteen thirty nine, damn. That's going to be hard. Especially with this horrible boat. Never give up. And my PV is an 18, so I am capable of it, technically. It seems the Empress overestimated your ability. The Empress? Oh man, I mean, I'm still aiming for sub two. My crew moments. All are lost. I will find the one who did this, and she will pay. Gotta do all the strats. No chickening out and doing safe strats. Which means I might ruin the run on the very first zip because I'm going to do the one zip. I have like the order kind of set up so I can take SOT kind of safe or like have a bad time in that one because that's my worst game. Nice. So then on two thrones I can reset. And on this one, I can go for Master Strap to get that sub too. Unarmed, we offer them a sword.
Wow. Little movement errors here and there are going to add up. Sucks. But it was already a bad start. It wasn't even sub four on that cutscene. Oh, I almost jumped too late. Huh? That's what I call a max wall run. Miss me. Nice gold. How did that even gold? That felt horrible. It was sub seven though. All right, now time to ruin the run probably. The mouse wheel is fucked up. Ooh, okay. Wasn't sure if that was gonna work. <laughs> really? Yeah, free. I'm gonna try not to talk very much during this, because this time needs to be really good. Really? Not sure why you turned around there, Prince, but okay.
Ah, uh, that's not gonna work. Don't do this to me, Prince. There we go. He needs to bounce on the left side of that. Really? Why? Why, game? Oh my god. Alright, I made it back. There, didn't die from fall damage. Yeah, I don't know why that timing was wrong. It feels like sometimes, like, you can get little speed ups in the game that mess up your timing. I don't know, it might just be me looking for an excuse of why I'm bad. There can definitely be lag, that's a thing. But that would mean I wouldn't jump high enough, not the other way around. Got the banana. Don't miss the trigger. Don't miss the trigger. Good. This is the zip that killed my last uh, trilogy run that was half decent. Yes. I think I found the problem, so I'm glad I got that. I was actually releasing too early, which is kind of insane, because you need to release pretty early on that for it to work. Nice. Don't do this. That jump is really stupid. Sometimes you just don't make it. But rewinding like that usually fixes it. <laughs> yeah, I don't even do that zip if I'm doing any percent. What makes you think I'm going to do it in a trilogy run? <laughs> oh my god. First try. Yes. Seen such a large clockwork mechanism before. 
It's as if the entire town were some tremendous machine. And what part less? I wonder. Uh, I probably shouldn't do this as if, but if it's going to be sub 2, this needs to be really fast, and the rest of it was kind of shit, so we're doing it. Yes, worked. How come the down and back up the wall? Uh, not sure what part you're referring to. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Do I? Oh, shit. SOT is starting. <laughs> no, that's the wrong game, computer. <laughs> I had both of the, the killers on, and apparently it chose Sands of Time instead of Warrior Within. I don't know why it prioritized that one, but yeah. I don't even know if this is on sub 2 pace now. It's not RTA, but in game time it's still possible, I guess. I was thinking of saving a sand here, but if I miss the triple triple skip, it's rip anyway, so I might as well just do the zip there. To save a couple seconds. All right, fucking triple skip. Let's go. I know what you've seen, what you think you've seen in the timeline. Then you know I have no choice. There is always a choice, Kylina. Then I choose to live, and for you to die. Fine. Don't you see? We can change our fate. This isn't what happened the first time we fought. The first time? That's what I've been trying to tell you. If you just let me no explain. No more words, Prince. If you've only things to say and nothing to show, then let us finish this. I'm sorry. No, why? Fuck this game. That was such bullshit. That's only happened to me like a couple times where she's like too far away. That's why I always mash forward and attack. But sometimes she's still a little bit out of range. That's so fucking dumb. I'm actually really mad about that. To lose it because of that? Wow. Like, if I mess it up at the end, fine. But really? <sighs> I'll get another sand. Hurry the fuck up. Okay. Yeah, this is bad. It's not gonna work unless I get super lucky. Oh, I got super lucky. GG. <laughs> I don't know why you just jumped instead of doing a block or doing a vault there, but yeah. I don't think that's uh, sub two in game time though. That's still not bad time.
There will be others like the Maharaja. Braggers. 